President Joe Biden on Thursday will impose more stringent vaccine rules on federal workers and take steps to encourage private businesses to do the same during a major speech meant to lay out a new approach to combating the coronavirus. Among the steps the president will take is signing an executive order requiring all federal workers be vaccinated against COVID-19, with no option of being regularly tested to opt out of the requirement, according to a source familiar with the plans. The president will also sign an executive order directing the same standard be extended to employees of contractors who do business with the federal government. The Department of Defense, the Department of Veterans Affairs, Indian Health Service and National Institutes of Health will also complete their previously announced vaccination requirements, which the White House estimates covers to 5 million workers. The new announcements move beyond what Biden announced earlier this summer, when he required federal workers be vaccinated but allowed for those who opted out to be subject to stringent mitigation measures. The White House has said the federal government should act as a model for other businesses in their own vaccine mandates, and has praised large companies that require employees to be vaccinated. Biden on Thursday also plans to announce a major expansion to free testing, a step public health officials have said is critical to containing the virus, particularly as children return to school and some workers return to offices. And he will address the confusion over booster shots, though will not make any new announcements on when additional doses will be authorized for Americans. The six-pronged plan Biden is set to unveil was finalized by the president and members of his public health team on Wednesday afternoon. He received a briefing in the Oval Office from his COVID-19 response team on the anticipated new steps. A White House official said the six pillars of Biden's plan include vaccinating the unvaccinated, further protecting the vaccinated through booster shots, keeping schools open, increasing testing and requiring masks, protecting the economic recovery, and improving care for those with COVID-19. Officials said they hope the new approach will provide Americans a clearer view of how the pandemic will end after 18 months of COVID-dampened life. The White House has watched as the president's approval ratings on COVID have slipped, and feel part of the problem is the backward motion felt this summer, a spike in cases led to a return to masks and continued working from home. An ABC News slash Washington Post poll conducted at the end of August found 52% of respondents approve of how Biden is handling the pandemic, a 10-point drop from June. Still, more respondents said they approved of his handling of COVID than disapproved, 